more. This is the drafting table in the leather room. It's where I sit down and I figure out what shape a knife's going to be or a project that somebody's wanting work done. This is the leather stamping table. It has a press, an extra round light with a GoPro camera on it. And we have a small light that's overhead that's right over the stamping table. The stamping table is pretty unique uh, because I made it. It's not something that you'd find. You'd have to uh, go to the store, buy one, pretty good price. Uh, and here we have normal tools, slickers, stamps. We have uh, just general tools to stamp the leather with, cut it, thin it. This part of it is where I cut and dye the leather, sewing. Uh, we have a piece of black glass right here that we use for the dyeing. That way I can clean it up without getting everywhere. Cutting boards, a few things that I'm going to be working on. Uh, I got to build a holster for this uh, taser. This is a, another knife that I'm working on for the shop. Uh, overhead I have plugs, miscellaneous parts. I have inks, dies, clues, thread, all the thread that I need. Over here we have the stabilization materials which I use cactus juice. We have a couple of knives on the table being worked on. Um, one of them's Christian's and another one's Mr. Baggett's which we're going to be redoing Mr. Baggett's. It's got a fissure in it. We have um, a buffing wheel here for buffing it after it's been polished. Makes the leather shine real good. We have a box of parts back there from this knife is old it kind of reminds me of I've here been through it a little bit but it is still in good condition as far as the metal the makers mark on it indicates that it comes from Germany and if I'm not too wrong with the information that I've been able to find on it it was a well-known knife maker we got a lot of work to do on that one uh, Generally, just some tools where I was working in the shop in the house today. I hadn't put them up, but that's life, ain't it? So we have a press here that I use to press my maker's mark on the leather. And we have a drill press that I use to drill some of the real thick leather so that I can get the needle through it. And down in the bottom is a box hole. Looks like some sort of disc in that box there. On the bottom I got my sewing machine, tools, my air brush and pump so that I can spray. And then down here we have just leather, old scrap leather up. There's not enough there to really do anything, but it's there. And then I have my uh, we all know what that is. We ain't supposed to say that word on Facebook or anywhere else, but I'll have to tell you what's in there. And then on the top wall up here, I have a few jigs that I've cut out to make uh, leather holsters and uh, sheaves and bill folds and little stuff like that. And honest folks, that's about it for the leather room. I'll make another video for the metal shop itself. Y'all have a nice day.